So apparently something happened in Iowa last week. It's just a puppet show, monkeys. Who cares? But here's the really interesting story. Now, there was a little spate of news stories in, uh, in the fall about this group. Put up the Twitter page, too, Carol, because uh, this American Select thing, it's a group of wealthy uh, hedge, fund, hedge fund people and a couple other lobbyists, ex-lobbyists. It's now Christine Todd Whitman is now on there. She was a lobbyist for... Um, uh, um, for, uh, what was she a lobbyist for? I forget what she was a lobbyist for. Uh, um, uh, oh, what was Christine Tawoon? Anyway, they're saying, Americans Elect says that they're this, that they're this, they're going to do an online primary where everyone will be able to vote for candidates and the candidate they, they choose will then have to choose another candidate from a different party. And they're trying to present it. They're on the ballot in 15 states, monkeys. This, they, they started off in 2008 under Unity 08, something like that, and now they're called Americans Elect. They're already on the ballot in Ohio and California and 15 states. They're trying to get on the ballot in a lot more. They don't have a candidate. They claim they're not a political party. They're just getting open slots on the ballot. Who are these people? Well, they say, well, we're not a political party, so we don't have to reveal our donors. We think that the political parties, the Dems and Republicans, will attack them. They think they'll be attacked if they are seen as supporting this. But we know a few things. Um, that a handful of people provided the millions of dollars of seed money. They're being secretive about where all the rest of the money is coming from. Their board of directors includes people who were, uh, let's see, a guy named Sansonetti, who was a lobbyist for the Peabody Energy Corp, one of the big coal companies in the world, probably the biggest coal company in the world. You know, th these are the kind of people that, that are on, that are in the group that we know of. They've got this online poll that they're setting up and they're going to vet, you know, these candidates and allow us to vote for who should be on the ballot for the Americans elect uh, slate, right? But guess what? There's a committee at the top of that that gets to decide which of the people we choose in the online poll they are going to put up. I think the whole thing's a backdoor way for Bloomberg to get on the ballot in a bunch of states, Carol. I think this is definitely a Bloomberg uh, kind of thing. Seriously, one of the main people funding it is hedge fund folks. These are Wall Street people. They're being very secretive, and they're already on the ballot in 15 states. I've got a bunch of links at the Twitter page. Listen, you're going to hear more and more about these people. What happened in Iowa is a sideshow. Whoever the Republican nominee is, what, what we're, we're going to see a very weird, strange, and I think new kind of race this year. And Americans elect is going to be a part of it. If you haven't been aware of what they've been up to, you really need to get up to speed. If you go to my Twitter page, there's a salon link, and then there's this blog. Don't, don't you love obsessive bloggers, Carol? There's this blog um, that's called irregulartimes.com. Irregulartimes.com. And if you go there and click on any of the Americans elect stories, there's a, there's a tag, Americans elect, and you'll come up with all the stories they've been doing about this. Americans elect has been making changes to their bylaws and how the, they don't even know how the process is going to work themselves, but they're already on the ballot in 15 states. And every change they make makes it harder and harder for the people in the online part of it to overturn the decisions of the small group that's supposedly in charge of vetting all those people and selecting uh, you know, the, the, the couple that, that we're going to choose from. They're making all these changes in their process. And we don't know who any of these people are. There's a small handful that have been public. We only have two minutes left, but I'm going to say it once again. I encourage you strongly. Go to my Twitter page. You don't have to follow me. I don't care about followers. Half of my followers are bots, just like half of your followers are bots. I keep getting sexy ladies following me, Carol. Oh, I need to post more gay stuff on my Twitter feed because, you know, I'd rather have sexy guys following me, but, but I mean, bots. But, um, but anyway, sexy guy bots. Um, but I encourage you, find out what you can about Americans Elect. This blogger at IrregularTimes.com has been, he's obsessive, and he's constantly comparing their bylaws from two months ago with their bylaws today. And every time there's a change, he tells you what, what they changed. And so you get this fascinating look at this weird new wealthy people's organization that is already on the ballot in 15 states, and they don't even have a candidate yet. And you're worried about Rick Santorum versus Mitt Romney in Iowa? That's not the story right now, monkeys. We are in a new era. 
something very strange is happening. So, um, and the people behind it are being secretive for a reason, right? There's no reason for these people to be secretive, except, you know, they don't want you to know where Americans elect's money's coming from. This is not a good thing. Do not believe these people. This is clearly not a good thing. So panhandling should, in Wake County, Carol, do you know the laws they passed in Wake County against panhandling? Real fast. You have to get a new permit with a photo ID, which is already enough of a barrier that it should be unconstitutional, to require a photo ID to panhandle? Please. That's completely unconstitutional. In Wake County, they made it so you need a new photo ID, a new, a new uh, license to panhandle every week, Carol. Every week, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. The ACLU's all over that crap, as they should be.